Hello and welcome to another episode in the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. In this episode, we will be taking a look at memory management. So why exactly is understanding memory management important? Well, understanding memory management can help you understand where memory leaks are coming from. Also, understanding how memory management work can help you debug your code. Now, by default, all classes that don't define an inheritance will automatically inherit the reference class. When inheriting the reference class, your class will be using reference counting. Basically, instances will be freed when no longer in use. The global reference class is the base class for any object that keeps a reference count. Objects are released from memory when the reference count is zero basically meaning that the object is no longer in use. If you would like to have a class stay in memory, you may inherit from the object class. To free an object, you must call the free method that the object class provides. For starters, the object class is inherited by any non-built-in type class. This would include the node class. Classes that inherit from the object class do not manage memory. To free an object that inherits from the object class, you must call the free method that the object class provides you. So let's look at two things first. One, when you're not freeing an object that inherits from the object class manually, you're leaving that object somewhere in memory. Even though you're not using it, it still exists somewhere. You do that multiple times and your memory grows. This is what's considered a memory leak. Keep in mind that there is no garbage collection to remove unused objects that inherit from the object class. Even if you're not using that object, it will still be in memory. Now, to remove an object from memory, you simply use the free method. The free method is just the word free followed by parentheses. Very simple and easy method to use to remove your object from memory. Now the instance here is just basically the name of your class object that is inheriting from a class that inherits from the object class. One thing to note is that the reference class actually inherits from the object class. Now the reference class object keeps an internal reference counter so that they are automatically released when no longer in use. So therefore, references do not need to be freed manually with the free method. Now, in most cases when programming, you will want to use the reference class. Basically, even if you create a class that doesn't inherit, you will benefit from the fact that the reference class is the default class you inherit from when you omit the inherit or rather the extends keyword. So the other thing to note is that the node class actually inherits from the object class. Now the node class needs to be freed manually with the free method that it inherits from the object class. However, one good thing about the node class is when you do in fact release the node class from memory, the node class will handle releasing from memory all the child nodes that your current node class uses. So therefore, when it comes to memory management, you really just need to worry about how you're using your node class. You don't need to worry about about their child classes, or rather their child nodes. When using the node class, there is an alternative method that the node class provides that will free the current node class from memory, and that is the queue free method. The queue free method comes with built in safety checks. This is to make sure that nothing goes wrong in your game when the node class deletes itself from memory. Keep in mind that when deleting the node class, whether using the free method or the queue free method, you will delete the children node of the current class you are trying to delete from memory. Well, that's all I have for you in this episode. There is no GitHub file for this episode. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for clicking the like button. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.